So there have been a lot of people who've been saying that you know that people are really overreacting to this, and that um, that you know the media is being alarmist. And I would say uh, that that is not true. I, people, if anything, maybe people have not taken this seriously enough up to this point in time. I think people are starting to recognize that we do need to take important measures uh, to make sure that we can slow down the progress of this epidemic. This is different than H1N1 influenza, which happened in 2009, um, and, and SARS that happened in 2003. You know, SARS, for example, went away. We're not really sure exactly why that happened, uh, maybe because the mortality rate was so high. When viruses have very high mortality rates, then the epidemics tend not to last as long. With H1N1 influenza, we did have antiviral treatment available. Uh, and a vaccine was also uh, made available. So, you know, this is completely different. This is an infection to which most people have not been exposed. Uh, there is no pre-existing immunity, and, so, and, and it also behaves differently than the flu. 20% of the patients who end up getting hospitalized with this end up in intensive care units. That is very different than influenza.